awesome trip. Yeah, it's excellent. He's under, folks. He's under. 10 to 1, unsuccessful. Got a little bit too close to this one. Back down towards Singapore, Johor Bahru. I've finally decided that I am going to kayak to Kuching in Malaysia, where my boat is there. Because of one silly little decision. I'm in the situation I am now, and I gotta figure a way to get out of it. Heal, rest, take care of my body, do whatever it takes to feel better. Go for it. So I was going to an acupuncturist. I went, uh, I think, three different times. I didn't want to go really far to one that was highly recommended because I'd have to bicycle back from that. And cycling right after acupuncture is not really good for the treatment. So I went to the one that was closest to the doctor who recommended me to it. There was a lineup to go there, so I figured he must be trusted enough. Uh, the first session, he basically stuck some needles in my back, all in simil the similar area. And then after that, he connected an electrode or an electric sort of current to them, which I've had done before from a friend of mine who's an acupuncturist. But this time the guy like jacked up the electric charge. So my whole leg was like flapping uncontrollably and it was extremely painful. I was like, enough. So he stopped after that, he put me on my side and then cracked my back really hard, which is something I really do not like. It's, I don't like chiropractors working on me because it's all about cracking bones and stuff. And I feel like my bones don't need to be cracked. What I do feel is that once you crack them once, it's better if you keep cracking them. Where I was, I would avoid just cracking them, period, and I just keep them stretched, and my body works fine. It doesn't need this violent cracking to happen. So anyways, he cracked me, and I was like, oh, no, that's probably not the best thing, and I'm probably going to be painful after that. Wasn't that bad. Back started feeling better. I went back to him after three days, stuck some more needles in me, and then went back after another four days, stuck some more needles in me. During the last time, I was thinking that maybe, he, like, I just didn't get a great feeling. I got this feeling like he was just sort of making the needles more painful for me so that I would come back back again. So I didn't go back to him. I went to a different acupuncture, actually an acupressure place that was recommended by a friend. The guy like did wonders for her back pain just on the spot. I wasn't actually feeling that much pain when I went to the guy, but he, he did a little bit of a massage on my spine and my back. I was just sitting on a stool, really interesting, sort of casual, confident. He told me that I should not eat coconuts and bananas. I was like, oh really? I was like, why? And he's like, oh, it's like not good for the nerves. He was sort of speaking in broken English. And then he gave me these drugs to take, which are similar to the drugs that the acupuncturist gave me, except there's more of them. <laughs> yeah. So that's the dose of drugs that I'm supposed to take. Three times a day. Three times a day. I haven't been taking them three times a day. I don't usually take like ibuprofen. I don't take any pharmaceutical drugs. I know I've got some undefined pills here. Pink and gray, orange and white, eight of these little balls. So I'm supposed to take 24 of these balls every day. The balls I actually trust the most, they're just raw herbs from what I know. These, I don't know. I think probably one's an anti-inflammatory. Got them from the Chinese doctor here, not an acupuncturist. But I'm gonna take the weird color pills this time. Take them all at once, yeah. I think I need more water. That's a lot of pills. Anyways, back is feeling much better. I've got three options now on how to get to Borneo. I can either kayak the way I was gonna go, long kayak, 1600 kilometers, or I can sail a Laser 16 if I can buy it and get it out of Singapore, which is proven really difficult. Singapore is so annoying. I have a sailboat, why can't I sail it out of your country? Maybe that will work out, maybe it won't, but then the same guy who rent me the kayak has also offered me to row with him. But the rowboats in Australia will cost some money to get it back. It will take six weeks to two months in order to get it. I'm leaning towards sailing, which will be about a thousand kilometer sail on this Laser 16. We'll see how that goes. What's up, Coco? What are you thinking? Did you want something? Did you want food? Is it dinner time? Dinner? Where? Where do you want it? This is Adam LaJoy. I'm Adam LaJoy. Adam and I met through the Canadian International School. So Ryan and Alicia, who I think you've met, Adam just bought a boat 
Yeah, so basically I need to get my boat from Thailand to Malaysia. So my proposal was that Marcus meets me where the boat is in Pahing, Thailand. Which, which is, is uh, I think, a 1600 kilometer bicycle ride north. So if he can bicycle ride north, then I can get him on a boat, and then I can take him, without using the engine of course, to Sarawak, Malaysia, and then finish the journey by myself. Of course, I'm trying to get to Sarawak because I have a aluminum boat there, which is smaller, I realized, than I originally thought. I bet it, it's uh, 7.8 meters. 25, 25 feet. Across the Pacific in a 25 foot. Is that well, a I'm not crossing the Pacific, I'm crossing the Indian. I mean, That's what I mean, yes. Yeah. But the people who owned it sailed around Turtle, like they sailed all the way around the world on it. So once you get that, you're good to go. It's proven. Okay. But yeah, so I'd have to bike up there and then we'd sail together. It'd be your first time sailing this boat. Yeah, that's that's an interesting thing to capture right now. Um, I've never sailed a boat. I haven't done any offshore sailing at all. Most of my sailing has been in a maybe a two or three meter sunfish. I'm not sure how big those are. So this is a huge learning experience for me, which I'm willing to do solo, but I think it would be a lot smarter and a lot more enjoyable having someone along with me. And then it serves that dual purpose of also getting markets where he needs to go. Originally, we had talked about this when you first got the potential of me helping you sail it, but the timing was way off. And I didn't want to wait around here to consider that. But now I hurt my back, and I've been here an extra month. And now, if I were to kayak, I would be getting there at the same time that we would when we're sailing. So yeah, this option makes sense. Uh, partly because oh, sailing is great, and I'd be helping you out. And also because if I were to kayak, it would be like this time constraint thing and then I'd have this kayak in Borneo and I'd have to figure out how to get it back. And I'd also have to put my bike in a box and ship it over to Malaysia, so I wouldn't have to do that. Lots of reasons why this would be good option. Well, there's still a few more wrinkles to iron out on this plan. Um, what are the wrinkles? We need to install... Okay, so my boat is run by an alternator. So to charge the batteries, I need to run the engine, which, you know, to fire up the alternator. So. The boat has no means of renewable energy, there's no wind, there's no solar. So if we're going to do this, and we do have the time to do it, I would need to invest in solar panels and we need to install solar panels in order to charge the batteries for, you know, just basic needs. Other than that, it's a propane stove, but for our lights and everything, I think... I'm surprised there's no solar. There's no... No, no. So think about sailing straight. We would, we would go right across the gulf. Yeah, so no stops. No, it's not so great. It looks like you come close to the tip of Vietnam, too, on the straight route. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I don't know if that makes sense to stop there, but why not? <laughs> I'm going to the first time I'm basically going sailing, I'm going to go offshore for a few days. So is that the only wrinkle, or was there another wrinkle? No, that, that's a pretty big wrinkle, though, because we would have to, I would have to, you know, there's, there's a metal company up in Joaquin, so I'd have to get all the metals involved to like, put on a stand. I would need a charge controller um, and the solar panels and all the wiring and we would have to do that ourselves.